Hi, my name is Susan. I work at Woodlands Medical Specialist as a coding specialist. So as a certified coder, what I do is I take the doctor's dictation and notes, what he saw the patient for, whatever diagnosis, whatever problem the patient had, whatever procedure the doctor performed, and I look up the, the codes, the procedure codes, for a claim form to send to the insurance company so the insurance company knows exactly what procedure the doctor performed. So I sit at my desk and I pull out the, the patient's chart and I look through the, the procedure book to see what, exactly, what exact procedure the doctor did because the procedures can vary even by a little bit depending on what the doctor did. Two codes can be very similar but the details make the difference in which code is accurate and we assign the diagnosis codes because the diagnosis code has to support what the doctor's done. And based on the practice size, ours is a smaller practice, we have to multitask and do several jobs. So I also help out with the AR, which is the accounts receivable, and that is making sure that the claim goes to the insurance company cleanly. If the claim is paid, then I don't have to do anything, but if the insurance company denies the claim, then I have to figure out if we've made an error or the insurance company has made an error. If the insurance company has made an error, I have to try to dispute that with the insurance, either by sending medical records with an explanation of why the codes are appropriate. Sometimes we're able to call the insurance company and explain to them on the phone why the codes are appropriate and they will reprocess the claims. But then that takes the, the the claim time back 60 to 90 days and puts the payment back 60 to 90 days. So that's a, that's a frustrating part of this job, so we want to make sure that the claims go out clean and accurate. My suggestion if you're looking for a job in medical coding is to attend a local college, get your certificate for coding certification, and maybe go for your associate's degree in HIM or HIT. That makes a huge difference if you're wanting to move up into management with the practice, and it makes a huge difference in your pay scale. There's a national certification test to become a certified medical coder. To be successful in this job, I think the main skills you need are strong computer skills, strong math skills, and strong multitasking skills. I don't feel like the job is very stressful if you're strong in these points. The billing aspect doesn't necessarily require any kind of certification. That's a lot of hands-on training. Um, I think the best part of my job is to make the patient's experience as positive as it can be. We deal with a lot of cancer patients here, so the last thing they need to be worried about is their insurance and whether the insurance is paying. So if I can do my job accurately, the claims go through smoothly and the patient doesn't have to worry about the insurance at all. And that's the best part of my job is making it a little bit easier for the patient. I think one of the frustrating parts of this job is the insurance companies are all different so they all require different rules they have and different changes that they make periodically so we're educating ourselves often but it's very specific to each insurance company. Most insurance companies will follow the Medicare guidelines, but not always. So there's a lot of rules and regulations that you have to keep up with in updating. So it, this is a great job for somebody who's comfortable with change. Presentation is a very important part of getting your foot in the door. Most doctor's offices are very professional office settings, so they don't want to see, management does not want to see a lot of wild tattoos, unusual piercings, different colored hair, being able to communicate well is very important. Being able to communicate with the doctors and patients and the insurance companies is extremely important in being able to function.